Hi, I'm Evan Yates at the College of Central Florida. Today I'm going to talk to you about our rocket project for MAC 1147. Uh, students, you need a two liter bottle. Uh, you can get one of these from the grocery store if you drink a lot of soda. Once you're done, rinse it out, you've got your two liter bottle. You also might need some materials for a cone for the top of the rocket, as well as fins. On the day of launch, you want to make sure that you do not have any holes in your rocket. Otherwise, it will not get pressurized, will not launch. Once you know that it has no holes in it, you want to fill it with water. You can put as much or as little water in it as you want. I recommend anywhere between a third and a half for the two liter bottle. Once you do that, you'll go out and launch with your instructor. Okay? Instructors, what you need. You're going to need a launch pad, a kilometer, and a measuring tape, as well as a stopwatch. And I'm going to explain what you're going to do with all of these. The day of the launch, you're going to put the kilometer a ways away from the launch pad. The kilometer is going to measure angle of elevation for the rocket launch. The tape measure is to measure how far the kilometer is from the launch pad. Okay? Once you get that, You're going to put the rocket on the launch pad. You can get these um, different kinds of launch pads from uh, Amazon. They run anywhere between $30 and $90, depending on how expensive you want to go with it. You're going to put the water bottle rocket onto the launcher and get ready to launch. You're going to need to pressurize it. For that, you can either use a portable air compressor or a bike pump. Those are two options to get you started. Once you pressurize, you will launch. This is where the stopwatch and kilometer come in. Upon launching, you're going to start the stopwatch. Once the rocket lands, you're going to stop the stopwatch, and then you'll know how long your rocket has been in air. You're going to need to know that time for the calculations. The kilometer. You're going to need a volunteer to watch the launch and then have line of sight to see how far the rocket goes up. And from there, the kilometer will tell you the angle of elevation. From that, you will have your angle of elevation, the distance from the launch pad, and the time in air. Those three measurements are what you need to complete this project. In another video, I will explain how we use those measurements to do the calculations.